Welcome to another video on tech tips from CMM XYZ. Today's topic is probe changer and how to calibrate a probe changer. Probe changer is a mechanical rack that can hold the detachable components of the probe like stylus holders and modules to make an automated switch to reduce programming time. In this video, the steps taken to prepare for calibration can be used for any probe changers that PCDMS supports. Before we start, calibrate the required probe modules and clamp the probe changer on the CMM at a suitable position. The first step in the process is to select the probe changer. Go to Edit, Preferences, Probe Changer. In Probe Changer dialog box, type tab, go to Probe Changer Type and click on the drop down. Here you can find the list of all the probe changers that PCDMS supports. I'm using MCR20 Probe Changer for TP20 with 6 ports for this video. Then apply to add it. If we have more than one probe changer, then enter the number of probe changers and define individual probe changers. Keep the docking speed at a default value of 5 mm. Next, in the Mount Point tab, select the active probe changer and keep the wrist angle at A0B0. Using the jog box, move the probe to a safe distance from the rack and click on Read Machine to populate the X, Y and Z values. Then apply to save the changes. Then go to Ports tab. In Number of Ports box, specify the number of ports on the probe changer. Then apply to add the ports. Next, add the modules to its respective ports according to your setup on the CMM. I have probe 2 by 30 mm in port 1, probe 3 by 20 mm in port 2 and probe 3 by 40 mm in port 3. Leave the rest of the ports empty and apply the changes. The module in the first port will be used to calibrate the probe changer. Next step is calibrating the probe changer. Go to calibration tab and select the active probe changer and the active probe file that is 2 by 30 mm and the orientation of the probe used for calibration that is A0, B0. Then click on calibrate to calibrate the probe changer. When calibration starts, select the loaded probe file and press OK to rotate the probe to A0, B0 orientation. A message pops up asking you to open all the lids and remove probe from port 1. Press OK and take a hit at the center of the silver front face between port 1 and port 2. After taking the hit, click on continue and a second message pops up asking you to take a hit on top of the plate between port 3 and port 4. Take the hit and click on continue. Next, the third message asks you to take the third hit on the front face of port 5 and 6. Press OK and take the hit. Then, when we click on continue, the CMM switches to DCC mode and calibrates the probe changer. After calibration, go to Ports tab and check the location of the ports. The Z value should be same or close to each other. Then press OK to save the calibration data. To switch the probe using Probe Changer, load the probe file and go to Operations, Load Active Probe. This will automate the switching of the probe modules. If the modules are not seated properly after the switch, we'll have to adjust the modules one time after the pickup and the modules position will be corrected during the drop off. This was a video on probe changer calibration. Thank you for watching the video.